An Eastern Michigan University student is also being remembered tonight. Julia Nicewender was found dead inside her apartment on Tuesday. While there were no obvious signs of trauma, police are investigating this still as a homicide. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich attended a vigil on campus in her honor. They came together as a school and as friends and as family to pray for Julia and to give their condolences. The 23-year-old's family found an outpouring of support at Eastern Michigan University tonight and at a second vigil where they live in Monroe. Julia's younger sister broke down after she kissed her sister's picture that now hangs in a heart from a necklace close to her own heart. I think her last selfless words would be uh, to ask everybody here to show some compassion for all of those that are going to be going through the exact same thing in Connecticut right now. I, I, I'm overwhelmed. I can't thank everyone enough for how much this means to me and my family. Police found Julia Nicewender dead in the bedroom of her off-campus apartment Tuesday night. They're calling her death an apparent homicide, saying there are possible signs of foul play, but no outward signs of trauma to her body. Friday's vigils brought together friends like Bobby Ruffin, who had class with Julia. It was just something about Julia's spirit that allowed me to, you know, just press on, you know, even when I wanted to give up 3 o'clock in the morning. She's like, no, we're almost there. We got to get this grade. And she's just an overall kind person. And to be honest, it just still doesn't feel real. Even complete strangers felt compelled to be here tonight. They are all still trying to comprehend why this happened to the vibrant girl set to graduate next year. This is also where Julia's sister Jennifer went to school, and as her friend said tonight, she'll definitely need her EMU family right now more than ever. From Eastern Michigan University, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.